Today we've got a review for you on the Brendrup 1150 and this is a slightly unusual model because it's the double height with the ABS lid. We do a few of these pretty much it's typically for a customer who wants a compact camping trailer but wants that volume of space. So we've got a standard 1150 at the bottom which is 35 centimeters deep. We've then added the extension sides that adds another 35 centimeters. And then we've got the ABS lid as well. If I show you how the trailer opens up, so we've got the top goes up there. If you ever do need to take the ABS lid off, you can. It's about a five minute job, so not too difficult at all. So if you were doing a tip run and needed an open trailer, you could do that and then pop the ABS lid back on again. As you can see, the ABS lid hooks into the rear. So the only thing to be aware of is you can't open the rear tailgate whilst the ABS lid is down. Um, so just to be aware of that. Then if we want to open up the trailer a little bit further, we can undo the top latch and just fold that top element down if we wanted to, or we can also undo the bottom element. So that then sits on retainers and sits down there as well. So we can load in and out of there really quite easily. With the 1150 trailer, technically you can stand it up on its end on the rear panel. With this model, because you've got the extension sides and the ABS lid, I'd suggest it's probably getting a little bit heavy and a little bit bulky to do that. So a lot of customers would leave this stored as it is on its wheels, but leave their camping gear inside it as well. So lid comes down, clip that into there, and you get two keys to lock the lid. Um, you can also put padlocks through the side here on these clips if you want to. Um, comes as standard with a jockey wheel on it as well. And typically, if you talk to us nicely, we'd always include a hitch lock that's on there and would also give you a little on-car lock. So it's a little barrel that fits into the hitch head that just protects the trailer when it's attached to your tow vehicle. So if you imagine yourself going off on a trip, you're fully laden, you pull in at the motorway services, you just need something to protect the trailers to stop the opportunists coming along. In this particular trailer, we've also fitted a spare wheel, <clears throat> which is sensible if you're doing any continental work as well. So mounted on the front, we always rest it in this situation. So resting on the A-frame here, but also supported by the body. We've seen other people do different things, but for us, this is really the way to do it because the weight is supported in a number of ways. So really nice aerodynamic unit, um, great little trailer running on 13 inch wheels also with 13 pin electrics but if you've got any questions or queries please do give us a call because we can also go to the larger model which is slightly larger slightly sorry slightly wider slightly longer which is the 1205 which we can do similar things as well with the abs lids extension size etc so please give us a call or pop in and see what we've got on offer so you can see the different trailers we have here so it's big bear trailers and outdoor in Oundle, northamptonshire thank you